Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, and today I am joined by... The Dude, how you guys doing? And welcome to part 3 of our Versus campaign. Now, we want your advice on a little issue that we've had with this campaign. We are trying to turn on the battle realism, but we're not quite sure whether we can do it actually in this campaign once it's started, or whether we have to start a brand new campaign. So if you guys know how to sort out this issue, please let us know in the description. And I believe the dude has something he wants to talk to you about as well. Oh yeah, uh, so uh, like I said, uh, with both of our channels, we really like when uh, you guys are involved in the campaign and, and even give us advice about uh, things uh, we should do in our battles or even in our campaign. That that really helps and not only helps us, but helps our, uh, the rest of the people that are watching the, the videos. Um, we, me and Dragonheart thought it'd be fun to make uh, just little thumbnails for you guys to um, maybe even just include in your um, your comments, and uh, it's just you know kind of silly. But uh, uh, one's going to be a, a team Dragonheart, and one's going to be a team Dude. Yeah, yeah, woo <laughs> um, And we'll have that in the description. It's just going to be a very small thumbnail in a uh, uh, a meet from Media Fire that you can you know just uh, download. It'll be very small, but uh, it's just something to kind of mess around with and. And uh, you should go to, you know, uh, subscribers of Dragonheart. You know, you should you should go to uh, my channel and kind of give my subscribers a little uh, run for their money and vice versa. Just friendly uh, comments of who yeah. you want to see. Yeah, camaraderie. Yes, yes. I yeah. mean, you kind of think of this as, a, as like a, a soccer match, or I should say, as you Brits say, a, a, a football match, <laughs> a proper football match. Yeah. Um, just, just good old fun. Uh, but anyway, so, I mean, that's all I got to say. And... Uh, I think we should probably uh, get this campaign going. I think so. Come on, Team Dragonheart, we can do this. <laughs> oh, Team Dude, uh, Team Dude's got something for you, Mr. Dragonheart. <laughs> we'll okay, see. so let's uh, let's start this campaign, and um, we'll see you. We'll cut this out, and we'll see you on the map. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my point of view of this co-op campaign. So the dude is taking his turn right now. And I'm on the campaign map, as you can all see. Uh, this is his settlement here. We discovered this in the previous episode, Numantia. It's the capital of the Aravaki. It's a walled settlement, so it will be difficult to take. Now, in the previous episode, I unfortunately lost a battle here at Astorica. And I'm hopefully going to try and take this settlement at some point in the near future. Now, I'm going to need to probably retreat with this army back to uh, Lugos over here. We're going to try and rebuild a really strong uh, army. I have my navy, of course, coming all the way around. I'm going to bring them to Portus Aminum because I imagine in a few turns' time in this campaign, Portus Aminum is going to be a pretty decent uh, settlement to take. And I can funnel down from there then into Nemantia and try to take him out that way. As far as diplomacy goes with other factions, everyone hates the Lusitani in this campaign. Which is kind of uh, <laughs> that's kind of upsetting, I guess, if you're somebody from Lusitani. But we'll make do with what we can do. If you click on this by here, you'll see um, standalone moderate diplomatic penalty with all factions, cultural aversions. So that's what we are suffering from with this faction. The Celtici were at war with us, but we are now um, not at war with them anymore. They actually offered me some money. I think it was 750 back in the first part. So that's pretty fun. Pretty fun for me to get some money out of them. Just trying to think of what I can do. We don't have much money. We have Actually, we have no money at all. That's my biggest problem. And I'm going to be really stretched as well. I have an army all the way down here. Three units. It's going to be difficult. I wish I could... I wish I could get a few thousand uh, denarii to help me out because it's what's needed in this campaign. And the timer has stopped, so I'm assuming that he's in the diplomacy uh, screen at the moment. Probably doing some horrible things behind my back, trying to get factions to wage war on me. It won't be difficult. I'm at war with many factions already in this campaign. I think it says on here, doesn't it? Yep. So we're at war with the Capitani, Aravaki, which is him, the Galeshi, and the Gate Tuli. And the Gate Tuli, I don't worry about the Gate Tuli. Are all the way down here. I know them from my single player campaign. I wiped them out pretty pretty easily with the Aravaki, so I don't have a problem with them. Carpetani are over here in Kel Celtiberia. Gonna have to watch out if I go towards them because 
Of course, he's up there with the Aravaki. It's going to be two on one if I go into his lands. And who was the other faction I said? Uh, let's see. The Galaci. Of course, the Galaci. We're at war with the Galaci currently at the moment. Oh, and someone's messaged me. Okay, we'll ignore that for now. We'll get back to him later. And yeah, this is going to be good. This is so exciting to play this campaign. It's kind of cool to play against a human player because in the previous episode I couldn't win this battle. But whereas if this was vanilla and it was against the uh, AI rather than a human player, I probably would have lost. I probably would have won this battle. Whereas I lost it in the previous uh, fight. I'm wondering whether I can take this this settlement or not. Let's see. They are bloodied. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven units there. What they got? They got some cavalry, some slingers, I think. But they don't, they, many of them are depleted, so I'm assuming I can. I don't know, because. No, probably not with this army. I was thinking of perhaps going from again, but I'm going to retreat. I'm going to be a bit more sensible this time. Don't want to just go barging in like so. I'm going to pull back. For we did recruit a couple of units here. Oh, and he's clicked the end turn. So the campaign continues. It will be my turn shortly. Like in the previous episode, I have a stopwatch by my. Well, on my phone. Oh, oh my. Uh oh. I'm going to retreat, I think. They could hurt me here. I don't think I can beat them what I have. I'm going to retreat. It's the sensible option. Fall back. There we go. Uh oh. Don't. Oh shit. Fuck. We got a battle to fight, guys. 571 versus 1387. So we're going to do a quick save here. And then we're going to fight this battle. I'm probably going to lose this battle. What they got? Got two units of cavalry. I think I can win this. He's gonna play as the AI. There we go. I'm gonna have to fight very, very defensively in this battle and hope to pick them off one by one. All my units are depleted. We do have some trees to work with. I'm gonna have to use these trees. I got one cavalry unit. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. Trying to think how I can do this. Oh, if only I had full units. If I had full units, I would fancy my chances, but the way things are at the moment, I just don't know. Right, what we're going to do is look at this campaign of trees up here, a hill down there. This is going to be a good place to go. To start off with, they're going to start the battle up here. Now, he won't be able to see me up here, which is good for me, but it won't be good for him. I just hope that they stay hidden. He might think I'm going to go in the centre. If I was a human player, I would think the centre and the brush by here. I want him to go down here and me attack his flank. That's what I'm going to try to do in this campaign. While he's doing that, let's have a quick look at the units. So we have my my general, heavy, heavily armoured cavalry. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Shield warriors. Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. Where else we go? Light spears. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So where's he? Can he see? I can't see him, and he can't see me. <laughs> Does he think I'm gonna attack him? I don't know. He's gonna be. I'm assuming he's here somewhere. It's gonna go on the to the tactical map. <laughs> oh, this is mad. Do you see? This doesn't really work properly on the AI, but it works perfectly against a human player because my units are here. Ah, there he is, Bingo. As expected. There they are, they're there. Is he gonna come to me? I can't go to him, it's just too... Too bad. I'm gonna have a quick look at what he has as well. What's he got? He has some... Look like this swordsman. How many does he have? Oh, they're disappearing again. Line of sight. That's his general. I'm gonna go for his general, I think. I think that's my best chance. Take his general out. Hopefully we can get them to break. But it, it seems that he knows where he's going. I'm hoping my hidden, my units stay hidden. Maybe I should have used ambush tactics and stuck one in that brush over there, one over here. Maybe hidden one behind the mountain down here. In hindsight, that might have been better, but 
I'd rather keep everything grouped together for now. Where's he gone? I don't know where he is. He doesn't. <laughs> Don't think he knows where I am. I'm happy just to stay here. Sword! Check the Time abilities. Throw javelin heavy. Yeah, we're on that on. Yeah, that's good. Just checking their abilities. Checking where I have. Oh, thunderstorm. That's not nice. Oh my, he's gone. He's he's. I'm just wondering whether we can see him. Ah, there is a bit of a hill here, so maybe that's why. I don't want to make the first move. Ah, shit, there he is. Oh, he spotted our units. Okay, I'm, I'm a bit uh, pissed off because I didn't think you could see my units back here. That's kind of been a bit of a concern of mine. Halt. Shh, don't do that, fuck off, don't do that, shit. He did well then, using his uh, his cavalry in that manner. I'm gonna have to come out and fight him. I think he knows where I am now. Don't have a chance. Don't have a choice. What are these? Are these missile cavalry? Back. Come on, do it. We await your orders. Orders, my lord. Here we go, we've taken a few of them out. Excellent. So I'm gonna have to fight this battle, micromanage everything. We await your orders. Took a few of them out, come back, come back. Bring the cavalry back. Kill ten of his men. We haven't lost any yet, I don't think so. First blood to me. All of his men are down here. Look, shit. We hunger for blood and battle. We hunger for blood and battle. How am I gonna do this? Shit. Back into the bush. Keep the javelin men up. See what comes at me. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Right. They have a full fresh unit. A couple of fresh units. Shit. Here come the the troublemakers. How far can they throw the javelins? Hopefully far enough. Let's group these units up. Go on, throw. Start throwing, you mad fucks. Throw, you wanks. Ah, uh, just throw them in. I haven't got much of a choice right now. Lock this group, I think. Fucking charge. That's all I got. That's all I got, guys. I can see his cavalry's made a move behind me. I haven't got a choice. I'm gonna get flanked by it. Get in there, Javelin man. Quick, 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 quick. Get in there. No, you go there. There you go there. It's all I've got, guys. It's all I've got. Gotta wait ages for another, another uh, war cry and inspire. Unfortunately, his cavalry's gone out. He's gonna go for hammer and anvil. That's fine by me, for now. Oh my god, 278 against 108. Holy shit. Oh, he comes with more units. Didn't see them. Of course he outnumbers me, I expected this. Let's have a look at the action. Hey, hello. Hello, Jeremy. Long time no see. Ah, oh, there's the fucking general. I want to take the general out. 
Go for the general instead, fuck it. We're gonna lose this anyway. Yeah, here we go. Here we go, end of the battle. I knew it was gonna happen. We were outnumbered. I tried to retreat, get into safer ground. But alas, we are defeated. But that was pretty cool, you know. I'm just a bit concerned with was he able to actually see me in the brush over here, you know? Because he came from all the way down here. How, if you were standing here, how could you see up there? You know? Like, I. Maybe, you know, maybe he, he could knew where I was anyway, but I'm just curious and, and I want to see his battle on his replay because if I was fighting this battle dead on, you, you always expect the enemy to be central. So I was assume you might have thought, oh, I'll be there. But then again, I took the high ground up here, just wondering whether he, he could actually see me and the, the icon didn't stay hidden. Just a bit curious. But well done to the dude, a great battle. Let's have a little look at these men. Are you chasing my men down? I think he is. Where are they? Where are my blessed men? Oh, there they are. Run! Run, you cowards! Run! Run, you mad fucks. Let's get this going. There we go. End battle. So, decisive defeat. But we expected that, guys, didn't we? So, 150, 150 kills versus 336. <laughs> oh, man, that's quite funny. That is quite funny indeed. Fucking AI. Right. Decisive defeat. Is that the end of my army? Oh, bugger, I bet it is. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. That's not good. Galeshi. Liguria. Vakai? Vasiai? Oh, what are they doing? I don't like the look of this, guys. Don't like the look of this one bit. Okay, what's happening? Then diplomacy with him, I'm assuming that would be the case. Oh, look at this, I've got to take this army out. Need to get some mercenaries in Lugos, I think. That's what I'm going to need to do. Recruit as many as I can, as many men as I can. Get some mercenaries. The good thing is I got more money next turn because I lost that army. So if you're looking for positives in a bad situation, that's the only positive really. I don't think I'm going to be able to take Asterica now. I need to find out in the diplomacy who else doesn't like him, and try to get them to go to war with him. And Helmantica's are our friends. It might be beneficial for me to actually go to Helmantica, and then up to Palantia. I'll only be next door to him then, or even. Now this is a good idea guys. This is really crafty. I'm gonna get an army. Here we go, military traditions, horrible death. I'm gonna get an army, right? I'm gonna build one up. I'm wondering whether I can pass through Helmantica, so let's see. Helmantica. Oh, I can't quite get to him. The Vasai or Vasiai. Right, we need to get some trade or something with the Vasiai. Where are you? They don't like me, do they? Oh, who doesn't? Right. You fucking bastards. What if I give you military access? And I'll give you a lot of payment. Would they accept that? No. <laughs> oh my god, diplomacy is such a bitch. Everyone hates me. Literally, look at this. War, war, war. <laughs> Even Carthage dislikes me. The only one like me, the, the god blessed Vatones over here. I still think I could probably go through his lands to there. Ready for battle. Don't know if I can do it with this army though. So first things first, let's get my navy to come around to Portus Aminum. Let's go all the way down to Lusitania itself. I need a good army here. They're not at war with me at the moment. I don't think they're going to be as well. All I suppose should be fairly protected or fairly well protected. Got a uh, fishing village in three turns time as well, which would be nice for, for me. The for the tribe. So I'm going to move this army out. I think. Let's see. Public Journey order is completed. fine with them out. So let's get move them. Out. Right up to the border, the Flamen Falsatas. We're going to name this army something different. 
and I'm going to call this army Dudes Nightmare. <laughs> going to get a nice little emblem for them as well. What have we got? Oh, we'll go for that. Looks like a seahorse type thing or dragon or something. Alright, do we want to get some good units here now? Cavalry I like. What's cheap? I'm going to get a couple of cheap units. Slingers and them. Just for now. And every turn I move along, I'm going to keep recruiting. I'm going to do it that way for now. Now this army is going to probably besiege me this turn. For so I'm going to have to be wary of that. Now to counter them, I'm going to need to get some good units. So I'll get them. And then a mercenary unit would be beneficial as well. Cavalry I like, so stats wise, range 60. I prefer the infantry cavalry, so I'm going to go with them. Higher them. We have 124 remaining. I wonder if we can afford the cheapest. No, we can't. Uh, let's go to diplomacy again. Right, everyone hates me apart from the Vitones. If I go, if if I lose the Vitones, I am screwed in this campaign. Believe me, I am screwed. Celtici are actually fairly friendly with me now, so I'm wondering whether they regret their actions against me. Migration pact or access? No, maybe not. To trade. Oh, come on, you bastards. I will join war. I offer to join war against both of your enemies. Or, or by the Oritani, at least. If you come to war against the Aravaki. And I will offer you 120, uh, 100 coins. You bastards. Right, what else can I do in this camp? In this, uh, Tutadani. Non-aggression. Nope, they're not interested. Fuck's sake, everyone hates me. It's not fair. Right, I think we can Ready possibly. So one one unit's coming on the way. One has been recruited as mercenary. I'm out of money more or less. And meanwhile, this army over here is currently building two units. I'll move them along again. Recruit a couple of units. Move them along again. Recruit a couple of units. Move into my friendly territory. Speaking of them, this have, do I have access? Military access? Let's see. Probably do. Defensive alliance. Trade agreement. Ah, oh, you fucking bastards. You know what, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much what I can do this turn. So I'm going to end turn and allow the dude to have his turn. Oh, my spy. Fuck, I forgot. I knew I forgot something. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. He hasn't had um, many battles. All the battles, really, have been my side of the campaign so far. Bar one, I think. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. He's in a good position because he's got one settlement, plus he's got a lot of allies. Or, well, at, le at least he got a lot of people that don't like him. Whereas with me, even though I have more provinces than him, um, everyone hates me, basically, except the Vitones. So it's going to be difficult for me to actually gain anything in this campaign at the moment. If I can get one ally, or two allies, some non-aggression packs or something, that would be fantastic. But oh well, it's the way it goes sometimes. I wonder what he's doing. When we, we did a trial run of this campaign before we actually started recording, and <laughs> the turn time settings was on one minute, and that was way, way, way too short. But I think five minutes is pretty good, because the, the actual timer stops once you go on diplomacy, and it also allows you then the five minutes to do whatever you need to do whether it's building something in, in Lugos or actually planning an attack on Astarica. I'm interested to see what they do but there's only six of them and they, they are a little bit bloodied their health so who knows maybe I... no I, I can't afford to attack them yet I need to take Astarica that's that's gotta be taken if I take that it's good night Irene because I can then take that I take Palantia I'm almost there that's what I got to aim for. I got to See, this is it. I got no. I am going to have money to do, to to fund two armies. I got this one down here, in this little icon, and I got this one up here in this like little icon. This one in Lugos needs to take Asterica. Needs to hold Asterica for a few turns, and then take Palantia. This one down here needs to go through Helmantica, around the back door with a full stack army straight to his gates. That's what my army needs to do there. 
surprise him, turn up at his gates, attack him. The good thing is I got a spy nearby, unless of course he tries to take my spy out, which will be very, very difficult for me. I haven't actually seen any any of his spies yet. That's the only thing with this campaign and the two factions we've both chosen. We are other sides of the of the Iberian Peninsula, so I'm all the way down here in Olisipo. He's all the way up here. Whoops, where's he gone? In Numantia. I wonder what he does though. Let's double check everything. Bandua's will. The dude destroyers. And what have we got? The dude's Ready nightmare. <laughs> I'm interested to see why he's named his um, his units, his army. Whether he's named them the Dragon Slayers or Dragon Hearts um, Nightmare or something. It'd be I pretty funny if he has. I am the Sage of the Forest. Celt Iberia. Is it Celt Iberia or is it Celt Celt Iberia? Oh, I don't know. It's probably Celt Iberia. <laughs> Just completely butchering the English language yet again. Bellinus. I am Bellinus, your priest. Basically, he's a spy, but he's also a priest. It doesn't make much sense. None of the this bullshit makes Be much sense to me. To you. It's awful, uh, awful stupid. Because um, especially in vanilla, uh, the amount of bullshit you get with these um, spies and stuff is just oh, ridiculous. Like for instance, you can fight a campaign, and then all of a sudden you've got like five spies all around Numantia, and you might be trying to take Numantia. Then one spy will come out and attack your army, and if it fails, the next one will come out, and the next one will come out. And it just completely ruins the kind of uh, the feel how one man can stop an entire army. <laughs> just doesn't make much sense. So, yeah. Nope. He's end the turn, and it's Carthage's turn. Now it's Rome. Oh, and it's glitching a little bit. Oopsie Daisy. And there we go, it's better. Oh, and and the sneaky bastards have attacked me, but we are going to attack them, I think. Oh my god, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult, but I think we can win this, so... Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, what am I going to do? Sally forth? I'm going to sally forth. I'd rather fight them in the open field. Just hope that unit of cavalry, which I've uh, got as a mercenary, is going to come in handy. He's going to play as the AI. So here we go. I can finally wipe out this army now, which troubled me earlier in this episode. Okay, so welcome back. So I cut out that loading screen there, hopefully, if I remembered. Open field. This is what I wanted. Open field battle. That cavalry is going to go on that right flank there. Nowhere to hide on this field, unfortunately, which I don't like. What are your orders? What are your orders? All my skirmishers going in that front line. There we go. Look at that lovely bullshit right there. We want to get all the the crappy spears lined up like so. We attack as one. We attack as one. And I think I'm okay to go from where we are. So start the battle. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Oh, he's over there. Right, his cavalry's on that flank. Turn all these around. Push up with this flank. Gonna actually manually man these three skirmishers. It's gonna be awkward. Six units, I believe. So these four plus the two cavalry. I do outnumber him. Iberian cavalry. What's he got? What's he got? These have taken some hits from the previous battle, fortunately. Slingers. Slingers. Can I tempt you? Can I tempt you out of your hole? Just push forward. Start, start the tactics going, guys. Does he have any skirmishers? That's what I need to find out first. He has cavalry. Yeah, his localized militia. I can't send cavalry into them because they spearmen. Or are they swordsmen? I can go for them. 
has his cavalry set up over here. Let's let's come back. At the ready. At the ready. We are at your command. We are at your command. Skirmishers. I'm gonna pull away from my cavalry. <laughs> Fuck that bullshit. I'm not getting involved in that. What have we got here? Are these uh, are these only swordsmen? That's not good. Retreat with these slings. Attack with those ones. Send two units to attack there. Two units to attack there. Tilt this around there. I see you split this cavalry down each flank. That's good. I think. Gonna keep pushing up with everything. Let's get all this bullshit going, guys. <laughs> right, flank around with this cavalry. That's fine. Get in there, for fuck's sake. I got a full unit of cavalry, 130. His is 104. I, I outnumber him. I should win the cavalry one on one battle. Doesn't want to engage me, does he? Attack there and attack there. We're losing men. But these are the men which are crap. Get stuck in. Attack his general there. What's he doing over here? Doesn't know what he's doing with his cavalry. Slings can keep going. Charge him uphill there. Charge him there. That's good. General's got to come forward. He has got to get involved in this battle, the general. Get all them up there. Like so. Oh, fuck. He's got some bullshit going. He's got some bullshit. That's not good. It's not good. There we go. We got him there. Them there. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Oops. Skirmishers. Get involved in his cavalry there. Whoa, what the fuck? Get in there, you fucking freak. For some reason they couldn't select, that's weird. That's bullshit sorcery, guys. What's going on? Let's get the skirmishers to fling around there. You can't defeat me just cavalry. That's the important thing to take note of. Let's bring all this bullshit forward. Slingalus, slingalus. Taking out one of his cavalry, that's good. Don't have much to begin with anyway. Now it's time for a war cry. And an inspiration. Waiting for the right time to do it. I'm gonna go for the general. I have a 75 men left in my cavalry unit. He has 99 left, so it's gonna be pretty tight to eat either way. Bring all them in. Just attack over there, come on, keep attacking. Bring these forward. Gotta take his cavalry out. That's an uh, imperative. I take his cavalry out. Select, you freak, come on. Oh, come on, attack, you fucking freak. Jesus Christ, what's this bullshit? Skirmishers! What the fuck? Right, now we're selecting. Jesus Christ, something's not right. This don't make sense. Ready. Oh, attack quickly! Come on, attack! Take his cavalry out! Oh my God, I can't believe this! 
Double. You only lost one unit. I can't believe this. I've only taken out one horseman. You got one, two, three, four, five units still remaining. Are they routing? I don't know. It's weird. It's glitching a little bit. Don't glitch on me now. Right, turn and face them. Actually, you can turn and face him there. Kill them all. Die. Come on, attack the fucking cavalry. For Christ's sake. Why are you turning that way, you freaks? The enemy's behind you, you mad fucks. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Jesus Christ. Finally. My God. My Lord. Fuck's sake. Eat the wind bullshit like that happens. Right, we've lost this battle anyway, somehow. I've lost my first fucking settlement as well. There we are, it's the end of that. Close defeat. And. Yeah, damn it. Lusitani. So we lost 955. Ah, I think he had better units as well. I mean, most of my garrison was, was weakened. And I've now lost my lot, my first province, Lugos. Close defeat. Damn. Honorable death. Research complete. There we go. So, I think we'll probably be ending the episode soon. So I'm going to double check the save. Yeah, I'm going to save the game here and just click save. Uh, accept. Save succeeded. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode guys. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.